All right, guys, so this is a super fun one we just got in. Uh, this is a Moto Z4, um, but the battery has swollen. Uh, the individual had left it up on the dash of their vehicle in the hot sun, and they can do that. So the, the tricky part on this one's gonna be, as you can see here, uh, that line kind of coming across, that's the bezel. We don't, typically like if we do a screen replacement, we try to leave that bezel because if you take that off, it makes it a lot harder to do the rest of the repair. Um, so what we'll have to do is probably, we're gonna have to remove the bezel and kind of reattach it, obviously. Um, this one, this one's gonna be kind of tricky. Obviously if your bezel's still attached, leave it. Don't, don't take that off, just try to remove the screen if you're doing a battery replacement. Um, but in this case, we are going to have to take both the screen and the bezel and do a little bit of work to get that reseated properly and attached. Um, so, we're going to throw this on the heat pad, get it heated up, and then get the screen removed. Alright guys, so now that we got this heated up, um, obviously this is mostly popped open. And typically I would start from the bottom side on most of these and work towards the top. So, obviously this is gonna be in reverse order because of what's going on here. Um, I'm not gonna use a bladed eye, I'm just gonna use uh, like a guitar pick. Come in here and just start popping it loose. You are going, if you're having the same issue or even if you're not, gotta be careful about how deep you go. Um, these Moto Z4 screens are pretty durable, but they are still exposed Pretty exposed on the back side because they don't have a mid frame it's just screen and the back piece so uh, there's really no cover plate in there and you could damage it so you just got to take it really slow heat um, high percentage alcohol to help get it to come off clean and just be gentle and go slow especially if you're trying to save the screen which in this case we are since that is uh, since it's just a battery that's getting replaced in this case. Um, but, again, don't rush it, just take your time. Alright guys, so a couple things to note on this. When you go to remove it, when you're sliding your uh, guitar pick or your kind of bladed item underneath, right here is your flex cables for the screen. So you just gotta go really slow and just watch your depth, you know, only maybe a quarter of an inch uh, max that you can slide underneath. Otherwise, you're going to risk damaging the those flex cables for the screen. Uh, once you got it popped off and open here, um, there is a film that goes over the, the screen. Just peel that off. Don't disconnect the screen yet. The first thing you want to disconnect is the battery. And there's a small torque screw, again, underneath the piece of film, so you just kind of peel that guy up nice and gentle. And you're going to remove it. It's a T5 torque screw. So you're going to remove that guy. And then there's a small cover plate. You come in, remove the cover plate from there. And then come in with your plastic pick to disconnect the battery. Once you've done that, now we can come back. Uh, the screen is just held uh, by one of these, I don't know why I call them a toggle. I know there's an official name for it, but that's what I call it. Um, so you're just going to flip this uh, the kind of white gray part up vertically and be careful because you do have small chips and solder pieces around it and below it. Flip him all the way up, and then you can slide your screen out. All right, and that guy comes off. So we got him off. We're gonna adjust the bezel here in a second. And then they have like their version of a Tessa tape all the way around it. So you'll have to peel all that off to get a new good seal on that. And so I would recommend remove all that. As far as removing the battery, you remove this other uh, protective, it's like a protective tape 
and then heat and some high uh, percentage alcohol, 99% isopropylene is what we use, uh, just around it, and that's gonna help release the battery. You're just gonna have to go slow, either using um, like a plastic pick kind of thing, or uh, we have like a metal one. And they're usually they're not too tough coming out, but if you add a little heat and then uh, alcohol, they come out pretty good. For the screen, this part where the bezel um, started to release, I think I'm actually going to be using, uh, honestly, like a super glue to reseat that is gonna be the best way to go about it. The rest of the bezel's on and attached and seems pretty uh, solid. It's just on the side and some at the top here. And so I'm gonna use a little bit of super glue to re reattach that. I think that's gonna be our best route for um, putting that back on. All right, guys, so this is what the battery looks like. Let's get it out. You can see how this one was very uh, poofy, again, from being on the dash of that truck. Um, they just use a really large double-sided piece of tape kind of to hold that sucker in there. So obviously take that guy out, um, and then you'll just new, use a, a couple new strips of double-sided tape in there to set your new battery in. I would recommend before you go and uh, and do that, at least test your battery and you, or your new battery before you lay him in there, because that would be a bummer if you got it all attached and then found out that it did not, in fact, work. Um, so just be sure you test test that guy out uh, before you before you fully attach it. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna close this up. Put test the tape around on the inside. Obviously, I had a couple spots I couldn't put that due to the way the frame is cut. Um, this is your speaker gap, so you don't want to put anything there. And these are your front sensors, so you don't want to put anything, uh, obviously, over that glue or tape. But before I close it up, I'm just going to put a little tape in the corners and in the spots where there's no sensors or just the way the frame is cut to help seal that. All right, after you've uh, done your glue and you're getting ready to, before you fully seat that screen, you're just going to want to do a test on the screen, make sure that the connection is good, powers up and everything functions properly. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put masking tape around the edges to help hold it and then also put clamps on just to help that glue get a nice clean uh, connection and dry. <laughs> 